That was a little tune by one of Jazz's patriarchs, King Buddy Bolden. I love that tune, and I open up many of my music presentations with it. You know, uh, proponents of music education have often cited it as being an effective tool for enhancing useful skills in other areas. Skills like self-discipline, concentration, even language development, amongst others. Uh, researchers have also cited that students who study music do better on standardized tests as well. Now, all of that's fine and dandy. However, I want to talk about music education as it relates to culture. When I think about the tune I just played for you, a little tune I learned in college, I don't just think about how my self-discipline may have improved by having to sit down and concentrate on learning the song. I don't just think about how, uh, having gone through the process of learning the song, how my test-taking ability may have improved. Okay? Rather, I think about how that particular melody connects me with the genre of music that I've come to love. I think about how that genre of music is connected to a group of people who I identify with. I think about the place in which that melody was originated and how I identify with that place. I think about the time in which that melody was played and how things were historically back during those days. Now, I'm saying all of this because I've been thinking a great deal about culture lately, in particular about cultural identity and cultural understanding. Well, what about it? Well, it's been a concern of mine that many of us don't uh, take into account the importance of culture in our everyday lives. And for those of us who do understand, our actions might not necessarily reflect that understanding. And so where does uh, music work its way into this culture conversation that I've been having with myself? Well, if culture was a gumbo, I would regard music as being the root. So, of course I say that, I'm a musician, right? <laughs> true that, true that. However, the importance of music within the body of culture is undeniable. Ladies and gentlemen, music is a connector. It connects us with our current pop culture, it connects us with our culture as a state, it connects us with the local culture of our communities, it connects us with our family and ancestral culture. Go back in time a bit. In your youth, you may have learned the spirit songs of your alma mater. As an adult, you may have learned the union songs at your place of work. For some of y'all, that might apply to your parents and grandparents more than you. Okay? Uh, you may have also learned the religious songs of your faith. Or you may have learned the patriotic songs of your country. Now, by show of hands, who's heard of that before? <laughs> of course, we all have. Just hearing it right now might have connected us to a sense of national identity and purpose. Now, uh, uh, songs that you may have learned either in your youth or as an adult may have connected you to a particular group, thereby giving you a sense of identity. Ladies and gentlemen, I say again, music is a connector. Now, back to culture specifically. Uh, I've thought about how important it is for us to have a culture that we not only identify with, but that we participate in on a regular basis as individuals. Um, I can observe other folks as, uh, and this has come to my attention here, that I think many of us uh, are cultural spectators. We observe others actively participating in and contributing to the culture groups we have claims to, but we don't actually do it ourselves. We just sit back and observe. And matter of fact, I can remember overhearing conversations where I might have heard one person saying, oh, I'm part Irish and I'm part Navajo. Or, yeah, I'm part Creole and I'm part Italian. And sometimes I want to step in and say, oh, part Navajo, oh, interesting. What's some of the songs sung at the ceremonies that you've been to? Or uh, part Creole, oh, that's interesting. How was life like for your great-great-grandmother as a Creole woman of color? I know if I were to ask these questions, I'd probably get a bunch of blank stares and uhs and I don't knows. But I say again that many of us sit back and observe others within the cultural groups we claim to have ties to and watch them participate while we just sit back and just simply observe. I'll, I'll put it to you like this. I'll make it plain. It's like we, we know how to eat the gumbo, but we ain't got a clue as to how to make it ourselves. 
Now, we can be even worse when it comes to groups who we don't have any cultural ties to. We won't try to expose ourselves to the cultural traditions and try to understand cultures of others. So I'll put it like this. We can see and smell somebody else's gumbo, but we ain't going to go over there and taste it. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> what I want to end up saying about culture as it relates to music education is this. Because the question comes up, how does music education work its way into this talk of music and culture? Well, I say again, ladies and gentlemen, that music is a connector. Now, I thought about the role of the music educator and how we can use this effective tool, music, in making cultural connections. Many of us as music educators have an incredible opportunity to connect the students that we teach to cultures that they don't understand as well as their own cultures. Matter of fact, I can recall a class in which I was teaching a group of students uh, the bamboola rhythm, hearing a lot of the Mardi Gras Indian and brass band music in New Orleans. Uh, and matter of fact, you might ask yourself right now, well, what's the bamboola rhythm? Well, check it out. You can hear it in the bass drum. You make me want to move, don't you? Now this happens to be a recording of Big Chief O Dallas and the Rebirth Brass Band performing a musical arrangement of a song sung by many Mardi Gras and it's called Let's Go Get Them. Now, it came to my attention through teaching this rhythm that day in class that my students knew nothing about the customs or culture of the Mardi Gras Indians outside of the fact that, in their words, they wore some pretty cool looking costumes. <laughs> now, if they would have known anything about the culture, they would have known to say how pretty their suit was. Anyway, I can recall and remember thinking that they knew nothing about how this whole custom of black men dressing in what they regarded as Indian attire had come about. They didn't know the uh, uh, cultural exchanges that took place between black slaves and Native Americans back during the time of slavery and how those cultural exchanges are represented today through the traditions and customs of the New Orleans Mardi Gras Indians down in New Orleans. It was a prime opportunity for me to relate the rhythm that I was trying to teach them that day in class to the culture of a group that they knew nothing about. Ladies and gentlemen, I showed them that music is a connector. Now, we as music educators can be cultural ambassadors, connecting the students that we teach and inspiring the students that we teach to have more understanding about groups outside of their own. Now, we can also deal with connecting them to the cultural traditions and roots of their own communities. So what might this look like for a music educator? Well, if I was teaching or talking about the blues to a group of students from South Baton Rouge, well, let me be more specific. If I was talking to a group of students from the bottom, that's old South Baton Rouge in case you didn't know, I would of course want to talk about the Baton Rouge blues specifically. Of course, I want to talk also about the great musicians and music educators that came out of McKinley High School. I want to talk about the great venues uh, that have promoted the music, like the Lincoln Theater a place that's played host to many great artists and national acts as well. And of course I have to talk about the man who you hear just underneath my voice here, Mr. Tabby Thomas. Yeah, I'm gonna bad. drink all the homebrew. Now, many of you may think that I'm only talking about those uh, music educators that are involved in some kind of school system. But ladies and gentlemen, even outside of school systems, music is a connector. Many of you sitting in here right now know a great deal about Celtic music, about jazz, about folk music. Many of you not only know a great deal about one particular genre or artist or another, but you know about the culture that gave birth to that particular genre or artist. So what might making these connections look like for you? Well, there's a lady who I know who knows a great deal about the Baton Rouge blues. She's a blues enthusiast, some would call her. Now, not only does she know about the Baton Rouge blues, but she knows all about the communities that gave rise to the blues here in Baton Rouge. She knows all about the social, political, and economic climate that existed during the music's golden period. Now, as I think about her right now, 
I'm thinking like she's not a band director or a choir director. I think she might even be a marketing or a communications executive. However, she's got the music in her. And she has the power to be able to connect students and people, young and old, to a music and culture that she's so very passionate about, just like us as music educators do. Ladies and gentlemen, this woman knows that music is a connector. Now, what I want you to take away from this talk is that cultural identity is important. Cultural understanding of groups outside of our own is important. Now, it might not result in any economic development, development in one community or another. Uh, it might not lead to, uh, um, or might be, not be measured in uh, uh, social status, dollar signs, uh, higher test scores, or screaming fans for that matter. However, there is a value in this understanding that helps to give us a sense of identity and purpose. Understanding that there is a value in this can lead to an awareness about how our actions and how our inactions can affect the vitality of the cultures that we come to understand and treasure. Uh, having that awareness can lead to action and us doing things like raising funds for various historic and cultural institutions. It can have an effect in us taking action and doing things like dispelling of negative, negative stereotypes that may exist in our own social circles towards those in other groups. It can have an effect as far as us uh, taking into action and influencing public policy that can affect the vitality of the cultures we come to love and understand. So as you think about the music that you hear from season to season and the music that you hear on a daily basis, just be reminded, music is a connector. So you just think about what can and what does music connect you to. Thank <laughs> you.